Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Esther Canada's. Esther Canada's born March 1, 1977, in Albacete is a Spanish model and actress, one of the biggest supermodels from Spain, alongside Helena Barquilla. Originally, Canada's wanted to pursue a career as a criminologist, but her mother persuaded her to give modeling a try. In her teens she started working as a model and moved first to Barcelona, then to Milan and New York. Canada's has walked the catwalk for many designers, including Chloe, Gucci, Dolce, and Gabbana, Versace, Chanel, Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, Alexander McQueen, Yves Saint Laurent, Valentino, Machino, Custa Barcelona, and Givenchy. She has appeared in campaigns for the most renowned fashion brands like Versace, Gianfranco Ferre, Armani, Oscar de Laurenta, Jean Paul Gaultier, Carolina Herrera, Fendi, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Dior. She is probably most known, however, for being the muse of Donna Karen and especially for the DKNY campaigns. She has been featured on the cover of the most prestigious international fashion magazines like Vogue, Harps Bazaar, Marie Claire to name a few. She has worked with the who's who of top photographers in the fashion industry, including, Stephen Meisel, Helmut Newton, Peter Lindbergh, Richard Avedon, Ellen von Unworth, Herb Ritz. In 1999 she made her feature film debut with an appearance as Anna Tyrol Nutshorn in the action-slash-romance film The Thomas Crown Affair, starring Pierce Brosnan and Rene Russo. In 2020 she made her comeback on the catwalks for the grand finale of the Balmonts show during Paris Fashion Week. Canada's met her first husband, model Mark Vanderloo, on the set of a DKNY photo shoot in 1997. They married in 1999 and were divorced in 2000. In 2007, she married MotoGP rider Seth Jibernau. They ended their relationship the following year. In December 2014, Canada's gave birth to her first child, Galia. Canada's has walked the catwalk for many designers, including Chloe, Gucci, Dolce, and Gabbana, Versace, Chanel, Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, Alexander McQueen, Yves Saint Laurent, Valentino, Machino, Custa Barcelona, and Givenchy. She has appeared in campaigns for the most renowned fashion brands like Versace, Gianfranco Ferre, Armani, Oscar de Laurenta, Jean Paul Gaultier, Carolina Herrera, Fendi, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, and Dior. She is probably most known, however, for being the muse of Donna Karen and especially for the DKNY campaigns. She has been featured on the cover of the most prestigious international fashion magazines like Vogue, Harps Bazaar, Marie Claire, to name a few. She has worked with the who's who of top photographers in the fashion industry, including Stephen Meisel, Helmut Newton, Peter Lindbergh, Richard Avedon, Ellen von Unworth, and Herbert's. In 1999, she made her feature film debut with an appearance as Anna Tyrol Nutshorn in the action-slash-romance film The Thomas Crown Affair, starring Pierce Brosnan and Rene Russo One. She has also appeared in Torrentate 2, Mission in Marbella, 2001, and Trilorose, 2003. In 2020, she made her comeback on the catwalks for the grand finale of the Balmonts show during Paris Fashion Week. Esther Canada's was married twice in her life. She met her first husband, model Mark Vanderloo, on the set of a DKNY photo shoot in 1997. They married in 1999 and divorced in 2001. In 2007, she married MotoGP rider Seth Jibernau, but they ended their relationship the following year one. As for interesting gossip, there is a rumor that Esther Canada's was sued over a $300,000 engagement ring by her ex-fiancé, Vikram Chatwal in 2014 too. However, this rumor has not been confirmed. Before COVID-19 uprooted the fashion universe this spring, 42 older models had walked the fall 2020 shows, compared to 30 for the spring 2020 collections, and 31 for the fall 2019 season, reported the New York Times. Among the returning to the catwalk models was Spanish model and actor Esther Canada's, who was in the Balmain show. Designer Olivier Rousting also used Carolyn Ray Barrow, Erin Wasson, Helena Christensen, Julia Stegner and Leah Cabady besides Canada's. 
I think we are living in a moment where we need to push examples of strong women to the front of the pack, Mr. Rousting said in an interview. There is something wonderful about putting models of different ages and from different eras who previously defined runway fashion up alongside the younger girls today who are half their age. Besides, he continued, in an industry where there is a lot of change and uncertainty, it is nice to surprise people with a bit of continuity. Esther Canada's covers the October 2020 issue of Vogue Spain, featured in a sensual elegance fashion story Volvera M. Pesar, starting over. Once Ebrion Styles Canada's, famous in the early 1990s when athleticism, natural beauty and distinctive personalities were highly valued. Photographer Nico Bustos captures pre-wave beauty who projected a powerful femininity, a term no longer appropriate in our androgynous, genderless world. Esther Canada's, like many models, has likely faced the pressure to conform to certain beauty ideals prevalent in the industry. However, attributing specific cosmetic enhancements to her desire to fit in or stand out may oversimplify the complex decisions individuals make regarding their appearance. The fashion industry, known for its ever-changing trends, places considerable emphasis on aesthetic appeal. Models, as the faces of fashion brands, often find themselves navigating societal expectations of beauty. In some cases, models may choose to undergo cosmetic procedures to enhance or maintain their looks, and such decisions can be influenced by personal preferences, career considerations, and societal standards. It is crucial to approach discussions about individuals' cosmetic choices with sensitivity, recognizing that decisions related to one's appearance are deeply personal. Factors such as self-expression, confidence, and a desire for self-improvement can play a role in these choices. Esther Canada's, like many figures in the fashion industry, may have faced pressures related to beauty standards. However, Attributing specific cosmetic alterations to fitting in or standing out should be approached cautiously without concrete information. The intersection of beauty and the fashion industry is nuanced, and individuals' choices regarding their appearance often reflect a myriad of personal motivations. Esther's modeling career took off when she was discovered at the age of 14 by a talent scout in her hometown. Recognizing her striking features and potential, she was soon signed by the renowned modeling agency, Elite Model Management. This marked the beginning of her foray into the competitive world of fashion. Her breakthrough moment came in the mid-1990s when she graced the covers of several international fashion magazines, including Vogue and Dell. Esther's unique blend of classic beauty and a distinct Mediterranean allure made her a sought-after face in the fashion industry. Her runway presence and ability to effortlessly embody various styles further solidified her status as a top model. Esther Canada's became a fixture in the fashion scene, working with some of the most esteemed designers and brands globally. She walked the runways for renowned fashion houses like Chanel, Versace, and Dolce & Gabbana, leaving an indelible mark with her poise and grace. In addition to her successful runway career, Esther also ventured into the world of acting, showcasing her versatility. She appeared in films such as The Thomas Crown Affair, 1999, and All the Queen's Men, 2001, demonstrating her ability to transition seamlessly between the realms of modeling and acting. Beyond her professional achievements, Esther Canada's has been admired for her philanthropic efforts and dedication to various charitable causes. Her impact on the fashion industry and her ability to transcend the traditional boundaries of modeling have solidified her place as one of Spain's most celebrated and enduring personalities in the world of fashion and entertainment. Thank you for watching this and please subscribe to this channel for more interesting facts to come on some of the most iconic women in fashion and cinema. I will see you next week. Bye from Iconic with Daya.